Hello everyone, Marina here and today I'm feeling a little bit sweet tooth. So by chance I found a pack of these in the pantry. This is Farine de Castagne or chestnut flower and one of the things that uh, you can be done with um, chestnut flower is this thing called castagnaccio which is a Tuscan dessert um, and I've never made it before but I have eaten it before so let's see how it goes the first thing that I'm going to do is to take some raisins and a handful of it and then I'm going to add hot water over it Ooh, messy. Next, I'm going to weigh the chestnut flour for 300 grams. Three hundred gram is supposed to be good for four people according to the recipe here. Okay, there you go. It smells really nice. And now I have a sieve and I'm going to use the sieve to sift the flour. And now that that's done, I have half a litre of cold water with me and the recipe says that I need to add it slowly and mix it slowly. So I'm going to take my really tiny <laughs> spoon here because I like, I like it. So let's add it bit by bit. Alright, pinch of salt. Thank you, card. Pinch of salt. And this is what it looks like after mixing in all of the water. To me, it looks like soft ice cream and it's so beautiful. Um, we're supposed to leave it to rest for half an hour. Now while waiting for the uh, mixture to rest, I'm going to heat up a small pot. Put in about 3 tablespoons of olive oil. One, two, and three. And heat it up lightly. And I'm going to take a couple of sprigs of rosemary. We are not... The idea of this is not to fry it, but to infuse the rosemary inside the oil. And this oil is supposed to be used um, for the bottom of the mixture. The recipe didn't say how long that it needs to fry, but I think um, I'll leave it like this. Um, I'll switch off the stuff because um, it actually smells really good now. If only you could smell it. It smells wonderful. Rosemary. Um, fried rosemary. Who knew it, it smells so lovely? Now I'm going to preheat the oven to 220 degrees Celsius. Now that 30 minutes is up, I have a little pan here. I don't know if it is big enough, but oh, let's just cross our fingers. I'm going to take my um, rosemary infused oil and put it at the bottom, including the rosemary itself. Okay, I'm going to attempt to pour in the mixture 
Wish me luck. Oh, it fits. And then I'm going to tap, 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 tap. Shake, 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 shake. Tap, 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 tap. Shake, 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 shake. There you go, all nice and flat. Ta-da! And now I'm going to add a sprinkle full of pine nuts. I like to eat pine nuts, so I don't know where to stop. When to stop? Maybe this is enough. And uh, remember the soaked raisins. I also like lots of raisins, so I, I wouldn't know when to stop adding raisins. Kat tells me that the traditional recipe doesn't include, but the recipe for that I saw also wants walnuts, so I'm going to add in some walnuts too. This seems very Christmassy for some reason. The more the merrier. Okay. And I'm supposed to add more oil on top. It's just sprinkle, 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 sprinkle on top. Cart says yes, so let's put it in the oven. going to put it in the oven at 220 degrees for 30 minutes to 40 minutes. So we'll see you in a bit. So after about half an hour in the oven, this is what my castagnoccio looks like. It looks so beautiful. Da -da 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 -da. I think the raisins a little bit burned, but that's all right. And uh, what I like about this um, castagnaccio is that it has little crack design on top, which looks really awesome. It's really hot right now, so we're going to wait a little bit till it cools beat down before we give it a taste test. And so. I have with me a slice of my castagnaccio, my Tuscan dessert. And let's eat it. Now take in mind, bear in mind I've never made this before. Mm. It's very rustic. You can taste the sweetness of the raisins and the crunchiness of the walnut and the pine nuts. It's good. And I wash it down with tea. So if you ever have a pack of chestnut flour, I hope you give this simple recipe a try. So this is Marina from Rinas.net. Bye for now.